Dear brothers and sisters, we have less than a month left now and the holy month of Ramadan is very, very near. As soon as the month of Ramadan comes, suddenly people are taken by surprise. Oh, what do I do now? Okay, I know I have to fast. So therefore, as Muslims, inshallah ta'ala, we should start preparing for Ramadan. Okay, and when I say preparing for Ramadan, inshallah ta'ala, I would like to the brother, I would like the brothers and sisters to sit down with, with, with the pen and papers, inshallah ta'ala, and make some plans. Okay, what well, the timings, you know, the, the most important thing that the time is, what, you know, when are we going to take time out for ibadah, inshallah ta'ala? The time out for ibadah means that, inshallah ta'ala, I will take out at least three hours from my, my, my whole busy schedule where I will actually spend an hour for tilawah of the Quran, an hour for reading the meaning, inshallah ta'ala, of whatever I'm reciting, an hour for contemplation, you know, for dua, for supplication, for contemplation, just to basically, you know, ponder and, 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 and evaluate, okay, inshallah ta'ala, and, and spend some time in the masjid. These kind of things are very important, inshallah ta'ala. Then this person, uh, if, he has, if he or she has a plan like this, then this Ramadan will be very productive. What are, what, otherwise, ask yourself how many Ramadan that we have celebrated. Okay, Alhamdulillah, we've done the fasting and we've also, Alhamdulillah, uh, attended the prayers as well. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all our ibadat. But we want to make it more productive, inshallah ta'ala. If you read the story of our pious predecessors, subhanallah, you know, in the month of Ramadan, these are, the scholars have spent the most time in researching and writing uh, the, you know, the works of Quran and Sunnah. They spend the time in re reciting the Quran. They spend the time thinking about the verses of the Quran. It's the month of Quran. That is why my request to the brothers and sisters, inshallah ta'ala, that inshallah, some of you who are listening to me, some of you will be uh, expert reciters, okay? MashaAllah, what you could do, inshallah, do khatam of the Quran. It will be very easy for you. Okay? My request to you as well, those of you who are expert, please take some time out and find out within your family members those who don't know how to recite the Quran and give them, inshallah, ta'ala, an hour a day if possible so that they could learn uh, the Quran just like the way you recite as well, inshallah. Ta'ala. You could do your own khatam because you're an expert reciter, alhamdulillah, but you could do that as well. You could assist and teach others, inshallah. Ta'ala. Another thing that you could do, inshallah, is that this time you're an expert reciter, alhamdulillah, but what you could do is read the meaning. This is something that we are neglecting. Okay? Why is it that we could read so many books? MashaAllah, many brothers and sisters, you know, you'll agree with me, you know, there are lots of books that we have, we have, we have read or we are reading, which is good, okay, alhamdulillah. But why is it that when it comes to the Qur'an, we don't know the translation of the Qur'an? You know, we have a lot of uh, gadgets nowadays. We have a lot of apps to find out the meaning of the verses of the Qur'an. Let's use our, uh, you know, these, our tools that we already have. So download, download a translation, inshallah ta'ala, or get a, a translation. And when you read the verses, then take some time out just to go over the meaning of the verses. And sit down with the pen and the paper and write the meaning as well. If there's something that doesn't make sense to you or you need further assistance, you have lots of ulama, inshallah ta'ala, you could ask the question. This is very important. أَفَلَا يَتَدَبَّرُونَ Quran. Tadabbur, to contemplate on the verse of the Qur'an is also very important as well. Allah has given us a message. Why is it that we are unaware of this message? So reciting the Qur'an is an ibadah. Even if you don't read the meaning, even if you don't read the transition, it's an ibadah. Okay? But we want to maximize the, and we want to make this Ramadan very productive, inshallah ta'ala. We are requesting you to read the translation of the Qur'an, inshallah. You don't have to aim to finish the whole Qur'an. This is another thing that we have. You know, uh, that we have to finish the translation of the whole Quran. No, even if at the end of Ramadan you've went over one juice in translation and you've learned the translation, you've understood the translation of one juice, your Ramadan is productive, inshallah ta'ala, because you have understood the message of the Quran. So, brothers and sisters, inshallah ta'ala, my request to you is that get a translation and go over this translation, inshallah ta'ala. The second thing that you could do if you have time is get a very basic tafsir. Okay, you got the translation. Now, what do our, our Mufassirun, the ulama of Tafsir, what did they say about this verse? 
Let's find out a little bit more about inshallah ta'ala and go over those as well. And alhamdulillah again in various languages you'll find the books of tafsir as well. And if you are not sure which tafsir book to pick up, you can speak to your inshallah ta'ala, uh, your imam, the imam that you trust and you believe and you know him to be knowledgeable. You can speak to him inshallah ta'ala. Second thing is that there are some brothers and sisters here, they say that, you know, I know how to recite the Quran, but I'm a very slow reader, okay? Alhamdulillah, you don't need to plan to finish the whole Quran. Read the Quran slowly, inshallah ta'ala. Okay? When you read the Quran, think what you're reading. You're reading the speech of Allah. Take your time. Okay? And carry on reciting. Remember, the aim is not to finish two khatam and three khatam. Don't worry about that. Even if you recite little with contemplation and devotion, inshallah, with concentration as well, that is beneficial, inshallah ta'ala. That will lift up your iman. It will get you to the nearness. It will, you will get the nearness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay? There are some brothers and sisters listening to me and thinking that, but I don't know how to recite the Quran. Well, let this Ramadan be the month that you will learn how to recite the Quran. Don't think that we are old now, we can't learn. Or we are so busy that we can't learn. No. Okay? Allah, the, the seeking knowledge is from cradle to grave. There is no end time. There is no a time that where you don't seek knowledge. Inshallah ta'ala, in this Ramadan, make this firm intention that you will take some time out and you will learn how to read the Quran. At the end of the Ramadan, inshallah, you will be reciting the Quran, inshallah, on your own. And alhamdulillah, you will, you know, you will feel so good that alhamdulillah, this is the speech of Allah. This is the kalamullah. And alhamdulillah, I could recite now. Okay? Every time you recite the verses, you will get the proximity of Allah. So brothers and sisters, this is what we want. So inshallah ta'ala, if you can't recite the Quran, may this Ramadan be the month that you start learning how to recite the Quran. MashaAllah, there are various ways of learning the Quran. You know, I'm sure there will be lots of Islamic institutes that you have near you, or there are distant learning courses on the internet that you could also do that as well. There are YouTube clips that you could download and also go through and, and learn, inshallah. Various ways, inshallah ta'ala, you could learn how to recite the Quran. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq to make this Ramadan a productive Ramadan, inshallah ta'ala. A Ramadan where we will make this Ramadan shahrul Quran. Ramadan, shahru Ramadan, unzila fihi al-Quran. Month of Ramadan is the month that Allah, the, the, where the Quran was revealed. So let us make this month the month of recitation of the Quran, the month of contemplation, the month of, uh, of evaluation, the month that we sit down and we understand the message of the Quran. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq to read the Quran, to learn the Quran, and to act upon the Quran. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.